Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. It is the first of the month, which means one thing and one thing only. We're going grocery shopping. So I thought I would take you along to show you how we save a good chunk of money uh, when we go and get our groceries for the month. The first thing that I do before we go grocery shopping is we go through all of our cupboards, our fridge, our freezer, um, anywhere that food is stored and kind of figure out what we're pulling. So I'm going to take you along and give you a couple of notes while we do that. I also want to point out before we go grocery shopping we always make sure that we have full bellies so that we don't like overbuy on things because if you are like me and you are starving while you are hungry you will put 12 packs of cookies in the grocery cart and no one should eat 12 packs of cookies in a month at least that's my opinion on it that's way too much sugar and i'll be bouncing off the walls you know and there's cavities and all that other stuff so don't be buying 12 packs of cookies because you're hungry go get some food <laughs> Once I go through my pantry, my cupboard, everything, I make a list of perishables versus non-perishables. And I kind of come up with an idea of, okay, what can I make with what I currently have and what do I need to make? And what extra ingredients do I need from the store? So I want to use all of the things that I currently have. Um, if you saw my freezer out there, you see that I have a crap ton of frozen eggs. And we go through a lot of eggs. We eat like, if Danny's home, between me and him, we'll go through five to eight eggs. And that's not if the kids are eating. If the kids are eating, we can go through close to a dozen eggs. So we have a lot of eggs we need to get through. So breakfast wise, I don't need eggs, but it'd be nice to have maybe a little chorizo or some bacon or maybe some toast or some avocados to make avocado toast. I'm using what I currently have and trying to add as few ingredients as possible to wipe my pantry out. Um, if you also look, I have a lot of things like rice and pasta and pasta sauce. What we do is if they are having a really great sale on non-perishables, we buy as much as they allow us to buy, we use coupons, and we do everything that we need to do to bring the price down even lower. I swear I'm doing a million things all at once. Just got the animals fed, I'm making Rick's mash. There's going to be a video on how to make parrot mash, or at least how I make my parrot mash. Um, and I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. It's it's great. We're in zone zone two cleaning. I just got my microwave cleaned out, but I feel like I'm going nuts. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. Once I go through all my cupboards, see what I'm going to make um, when it comes to what I already have and make my list, we're gonna head out the door and we're gonna go do some grocery shopping. I will say that we only do our bulk shops on the first Saturday of every month. And that is because our local uh, Safeway, uh, they do a 10% discount for military members, veterans, that kind of thing, uh, on the first Saturday of every month. So our entire cart of food that we, uh, we buy is 10% off automatically. We also, on the way to the store, will sit and flip through their coupon book. They have a paper coupon book, and then they have an online coupon book. And then also, if you're going to shop at a store such as, you know, Kroger or Safeway or any of those places, make sure you're a member. It doesn't cost you any money, but you get special deals that really cut down the price of your shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead, take you to the store, and I'll show you what we got. I just wanna preface this by saying that we got like a month's worth of meat, and we got some chicken breast, we got some steak, we got food for the dogs, um, we got some cleaning supplies, and this will last us an entire month. The only thing that we're going to buy in between our grocery, uh, in between our big bulk grocery hauls is produce. And normally when we buy produce, we spend anywhere from 20 to 25 dollars on simple things such as limes cilantro onions uh tomatillos tomatoes apples that kind of thing and that's just because it won't keep for the entire month now if you don't want to go on a monthly ship or if you don't want to go on a shopping trip in between your monthly bulk shops you can also get frozen produce which we do have some of we have frozen vegetables as well as frozen fruits for like smoothies and stuff but that's also good for just plain eating as well if you don't want to deal with it. And then what you can also do is if you want to bulk shop produce that is on sale, you can can it. 
you know, um, a lot of us in the homesteading community, we can our own stuff, but they don't think to can about, they don't think to can things that they buy from the grocery store. And that's actually a really good way to buy things when they are on sale that are perishable to keep them for a longer period of time. It's a really good trick for like meats as well. So like if you go hunting or you're buying meat in bulk, you can can and jar and keep them um, shelf stable for a longer amount of time. I just put in a couple of clips of our, um, our receipt. We spent around $300 um, without all of the savings. We were going to spend about $400 and um, we had a savings of about $75, I do believe. And then we also got points that go towards our gas, right? So Safeway has this thing where if you buy uh, and buy food and you're a member, you can get a discount on your gas. We currently have like 40 cents off of um, our gas right now. And uh, we normally do that to fill up the big old blue truck out there because diesel's a little more expensive than what I put in the car and it's also a larger amount. So it also does save us money. What we also do is instead of paying with cash or debit, we'll pay with credit and then pay it right off right then. And then that goes towards cash rewards towards our credit card for things like travel. So there's a bunch of layers to what you can do to save money at the grocery store. So. I really hope this helped some of y'all and gave y'all some ideas. I'm not an extreme couponer. Some of y'all, some of y'all have some amazing couponing skills. This is just simple, easy things that you can do at the drop of the hat without really pre-planning. So good luck on your grocery shopping. If you have any tips, leave them down at the uh, comments down below. And I want to thank y'all for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.